Designer Kim Miles from Owns Homemade Simple is here today to share some of her fantastic makeovers she's done on the show. So Kim, let's jump right in. Yes. Yes. You are known for your chic style, which we obviously see today. Thank you. So has there ever been anything that you've designed that has surprised you at the end? Yeah, actually. You know what? I am um, a modern, contemporary girl. That's what I love, and mm -hmm. that's what I like in the home when it's my personal style. But when I'm designing for other people, actually, I designed for Homemade Simple a space that was kind of vintage rustic, mm -hmm. which are not in my wheelhouse at all. Yeah. And I created a wall out of those tin ceiling tiles. You know, you see them in vintage spaces. Oh, yeah, spaces. I do know, yes. You know those tiles uh -huh. I'm talking about? So I aged a whole bunch of them, and I used them as wallpaper. So I plastered the wall with them versus the ceiling, and it was so warm and inviting. It was textural. It felt a little graphic because it has those kind of raised relief designs So my in inner it. designer, not to cut you off, says yes. aged. What's aged mean? Age with a little peroxide and salt. Got it. Believe it or not. So you lay them down, they're brand new tin, they're super shiny. You spray them with peroxide, just regular 99 cents at the drugstore, and then you sprinkle them with table salt and they start to rust. It's oh. amazing, it's like see, magic. See, that's a unique style that yes. I love. I, I like that, I'm gonna have to try that one. And also, a lot of these homes that you go into are different, every single one, they're all unique. Yes. That's the thing. So how do you always come up with these materials like peroxide and ceiling tiles? <laughs> like, how do you even know what to do? You know what? Every home is really just about who is living there. So mm -hmm. for me, it's about the family. It's about who's inhabiting the space. What are their joys? What are their loves? What are their interests? Getting to know them, their story is a design map for me. So I really start there and say, OK, this is who they are. This is what they like. You know, that particular family that I used the tiles with, they loved to do estate sales. They loved to collect antiques. They loved anything vintage. So it made sense that if I pulled in something, a material like a tin ceiling tile, yeah. that was something that's going to really spark for them. Yeah. Your story is your design map. Did you just come yes, up with that? Yes, I did. It's because true. I love it. Your story it's is your true. design map. I'm it's holding on to that one. No, me first. Okay, okay, okay you're, you're, you're <laughs> you first. So you're in, in your space. They always say that lighting matters. You know, yes. you need to set the right lighting. Yes. So how do you create the right lighting for you know, when you're going into these homes? Well, I mean, lighting, I can't stress how important lighting is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you saw me before we came into the studio. I have a very boring haircut. I come in here and it's like fancy rooster. Okay. It's, it's all lighting. It's working, girl. Yes. It's working for you. No, the magic of lighting, it's really true because you come into a space that is blank and has, you know, the one lighting fixture in the center of the room. Mm -hmm. You're never going to get a space if that's if you stop there, you will never have a space that feels warm, that feels comfortable. You really need to think about lighting as kind of a multi-pronged effect. So mm -hmm. I am starting with ambient light, which is just what it sounds like. It's your kind of general light in the space. Then you want to move into task, which is taking care of all of the work. If you're reading, if you're doing work, um, if you want to pick out a specific detail in the space and you want to highlight it. Um, so I'm really looking at lighting as not just one thing. Yeah. Um, and also lighting is an opportunity to really add character. I feel like lighting can be sculptural. Yes. Lighting can be interesting. So even if you don't have the budget to afford a whole bunch of stuff to really stuff and fill the space, having a couple of key great lighting moments can really kind of absorb some of that big blank. Okay, well, we, you said the key word, budget. Yes. Because I am not balling. Okay, so I, I am either. on a budget. It's all good. So how can I figure out how to create a beautiful space and, you know, get lighting, which can be expensive, yes. on a budget. Yeah, I mean, the bottom line is, I mean, all designers, we beat this drum again and again, and there's a reason. Paint is your first stop, okay? So I would say paint is first stop, lighting is second. For paint, 15 bucks and a quart of paint. Amen. Notice I didn't say a gallon. You don't have to do the whole room if that scares you away. If you don't have friends that you can convince to come help you paint, just a quart, mask off like a nine by six rectangle. I don't care if it's vertical or horizontal. Mm -hmm. Do it on a feature wall. So do it on the entry wall in your home. Do it on the wall behind the sofa. Do it on the wall uh, behind the bed. You know, So pick that focal wall, mask off that rectangle and hit it with a really bold color. Mm instantly, $15, and you look like a genius. Like, you yeah. know design. <laughs> you're adding a layer, you're adding color, you look super bold. It's a really small investment for a really big impact. Um, and then lighting, you just wanna really feel like, look, lighting comes in all price points. You don't have to get the most expensive light. You need light that is going to have character. And you mm -hmm. can find that at big box stores, you can find it online. I mean, there are a million places to hunt. You can go to a secondhand store, pick up a lamp, change the lampshade, spray paint the base of the lamp. And there you go. Totally different light. So it, it doesn't matter what budget you're on, you can start small, bite size, and build towards something I great. can deal with $15 and refurbished lampshades yes. to make my story 
turn into my design map. I love it. I love that. I love yes. it. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> so thanks, Kim. And what about you? Let us know if Kim's ideas sparked your creativity and share your thoughts with us using the hashtag OwnShow.